Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to make seamless uh, sublimation mock-ups right in Canva. This is crazy because you can do this completely for free with the free version of Canva. So whether you want something like this or the more popular um, straight tumblers, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Now, the design that I'm using, the tumbler template I'm using is coming from this So Fancy uh, bundle. You can buy the entire bundle or you can just grab the individual set that comes with a whole bunch of designs. And that's the one that I'm going to use. I'm gonna use one of these because I actually made the tumbler, so I want you to see how you can pair these all together uh, for your social media. So the first thing that you wanna do is go over to Canva. If you don't already have a um, Canva account, you wanna sign up. Now again, there are a lot of added benefits that you can get from having the Pro Canva or Canva Pro, but this is a free, um, this is a tutorial that can be done with the free version. So first thing that you wanna do go to create a des design and you want to do a video. So um, I'm going to pick video, uh, this very first one that comes up, and that is going to bring me into a blank white page. Now the reason that I want video is because that will allow me to do animation if I want to. Um, if you're using a free version of Canva, you cannot change the size or resize after um, you start without completely starting over. So it's really important to make sure um, if you have free Canva, they, you're using the right size from the beginning. Okay, so first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go to apps, and in apps, you have um, mockups. So mockups here, um, there's a whole bunch of different mockups, but for this tutorial, for the full wrap um, bottles or tumblers, we are going to use under packaging. Now they're adding more and more of what these are called smart mockups. Uh, but for right now, what we are going to use is this one. Now, granted, if you do not have a photo, or excuse me, if you do not have a bottle that looks like this, a tumbler that looks like this, and your tumbler um, resembles more like this, don't worry, we are gonna get to that um, towards the end. Or I actually might make it a second video. We'll kind of see how long we go from there. Okay, so first things first, we have our, um, our tumbler here, and this area here, any design you see that has this like cloud with the grass, that is a mock-up where you can just drop a design. Okay, so we need to add our design. So we're gonna go to uploads. Now what you can see is I already have a bunch here, but I'm gonna upload another one just so you can see how this goes from the beginning. And I'm gonna find my tumblers. Um, here they are, okay. So in here is where my tumblers are. This is the one that I already made as an actual tumbler. So that's the one I'm actually gonna use again. So I'm just gonna find it and I'm gonna click open and it is going to upload in my uploads folder, okay? So first thing that we wanna do is once it's uploaded, you need to wait for this line to get all the way across to make sure your file is fully uploaded. With Tumblr wraps, this can take you know just a couple of seconds or so, but make sure it's complete before you do it. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and just drop it into the mockup, okay? So what that is going to do is it's going to put the design, now you can see it kind of has a, um, this is a, like a glare, it's basically showing you what the mock-up would look like or what the, the tumbler would look like with a with kind of a glare on there. Um, they don't all look like that, I'll show you like this one here with the white, it looks a little bit different because it doesn't, so you can see the difference there. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna show our mock-up from every angle. So I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to move it over here. Now, we have a couple of options here. The first one is on this, this is the front view. On this second view here, we would need to, to move the mock-up a little bit. So we can go to edit and we can tell it that we want to show left. But what that's going to do is it's only really gonna twist it a little bit. So I actually don't like that. So that's where, um, I this kind of hack comes in. So I'm gonna add a second page, and what I'm gonna do on the second page is I'm gonna go back to my mock-up, or my uploads, and I'm gonna add the actual um, t uh, template here, okay? And I'm just gonna stretch it. I'm not going to fill the page with it, I'm gonna stretch it. And then I'm gonna make a duplicate, and I am going to put it together as if it is a seamless pattern. And then I'm gonna move that center line 
where they're butting together. This is essentially the seam of your tumbler. I'm gonna move that to the middle, okay? I'm gonna to try to make it so that there's no real obvious seam there. Then I'm going to go to share, and I'm gonna say download. And I'm gonna change this to PNG, and I only want the page two, the second page, to download, okay? So I'm only selecting page two. So that's gonna download. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to download that page as its own PNG. So what you can see is I this is the original. This black area here is where you would probably put a name. This is essentially what it would look like if you wrapped the full thing around your Tumblr. So now I'm gonna re-upload that. So I'm gonna go back to upload and I'm going to find that file, which is right here, and I'm gonna re-upload that one. Okay, so now I have two versions. I have the basically the front version and then I have the rest. So then I'm gonna go back to this slide and I'm actually going to fill this second tumbler here with the new um, PNG that I uploaded. Now watch the difference here. Okay, so it, first of all, it's small. So we need to go and we need to click edit and we need to tell it instead of fit, we need to go to fill. So it's gonna fill the entire same space, okay? Then I'm gonna make a copy of that one. And this time on edit, which we're still on, I'm gonna say left. So that's gonna twist it a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna put this one on right, okay? And that twists it. So now what you have is you have the front view, you have the back view, you have the left, and then you have the right, so that your customer can essentially see this design from every angle. I actually do not love how this looks on a mock-up. Um, so let's use another one just so we can, we can um, show the same example so you can see, because I think it looks a little bit better. Okay, so I have, this, um, I have this plant lady, so let's do her. So we'll pull the plant in there. This is the original, okay, so straight on view. Then I have the same, you can see where I basically doubled it and put the seam together and I'm gonna do that for this one. Okay, and I have to do um, edit, fill, okay? So that fills it and then I'm just gonna actually delete these other ones here and I'm gonna copy this one so I don't have to do fill every time. Okay, and then I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna do left. See how it puts her face on the left? And then this one, I'm gonna do right. Okay, so now we have all the angles of the um, tumbler, all right? The wrap, the full wrap. This is what it's gonna look like from the front, from the back, and each side. Now, let's say we don't have a tumbler that has this type of top. We have a straight tumbler with a straw. Okay, so what you're gonna do for that, because if you go into mock-ups here, they don't have a mock-up like that. So unfortunately, it's a little like, okay, but now what? Well, there's a little trick that you're gonna do. First, we don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna delete this page. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to download what we've just made as a PNG, okay? And I'm just going to download that entire page as a PNG. All of these steps that you have seen so far can be done with the free version. Now, if you have the Canva Pro, you would be able to increase the resolution, you would be able to do lots of other fancy stuff, but I just want you to see what you can do with the free version. Okay, so in the second page here, now we are going to re-upload the design that we just downloaded. So that's right here, okay? So that is now downloading and I'm not going to fill the page. Did you see how that filled the page? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to open the design like this and then I'm going to expand it. And the reason is I want to be able to have, where'd it go? Oh, it accidentally filled the whole thing. I want this lever right here because that allows me to crop. So now I can crop all the way down to where the wrap stops. Well, we should have made sure that they were all even, but they're essentially, they're pretty close. And now I'm gonna expand. Okay, we're getting there. Now we're gonna go to elements, and we are going to find 
a tumbler, straight tumbler. If we have the free version, we won't be able to do this. Hmm, so this might be a place where we need to update to Canva Pro because I know for certain, well, I don't see any that are on a transparent background. So we can use this one, which is white, and we will just crop this too. Okay, so we're cropping it close. It works because they both have a white background. So, and then I'm gonna place it right over and I'm just gonna expand it so it's about the same size. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy this three more times. And if you want, you can even flip the lid on this one horizontally so that it looks the other way as if it's turned, okay? And there you have created your full custom wrapped sublimation tumbler, um, whether you have a bottle that's shaped like this or a bottle that's shaped like this. If you guys like this tutorial, make sure you hit subscribe. Also, I have um, lots more tutorials on Canva and uh, mock-ups and sublimation on Silhouette School and Silhouette U. So make sure you check those out. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help on whether that's on how to use Canva or how to use Silhouette Studio, how to sublimate, you make sure you check out Silhouette U um, because that is where I offer premium content, exclusive videos, and one-on-one -on -one chat help. See you guys soon.